Well, when, when your mum and I got married, mm. I was working, before we got married, I was working in the dockyard up Denport, only for a short time. Didn't like it. So, uh, Dad said, there's a job down at the cannon factory if you want one. Uh, they want an electrician. They got all this. They used to be just packing the pilchards in barrels, yeah, bring them out of the salt mm. pits, which is where you got that shot of Father down in the salt pits, taking them out. But when we switched to when they switched to doing the machinery, then they asked That's me to. Like co I applied for the to... job, and I had the job of putting in all the machinery and that. And the Did paint. it last much longer the the sardine factory after that? Then. Yeah, I was there. I was there fifteen years, and it must have went on for about another three or four years after that. Oh right. But father came out about nineteen sixty and had his own boat, and the first one that he. I had Arthur Collins built over East Slough, and Arthur would, uh, can't use the phase, but he was very careful with his money, Arthur was. So he used to go around picking up the copper nails so he could use the <laughs> copper nails. In Granddad's <laughs> boat. So we went over there and we, we riveted her, riveted her up, mm. saved money. And I think Tony's got the receipt for the actual boat, and it was 200, 230 quid. 230 pound. Mm. We used to be working in the canning factory, and then when it was slack, uh, after the pilchard season had quietened down, we used to go out then fishing ourselves with a bolter. It's a uh, conger eel. Yeah, it? mainly conger eel. I can remember him bringing in conger yeah. eel. This is a, a photograph of down at Newlin when they used to go down pilchard fishing. They used to follow the pilchards. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think this must have been the heron season because I've looked on the back and it was a card that father sent to, oh, to mother when she was Miss Elsie Moore. <laughs> and I see from the stamp it's 1921. That was sometime before I was born. <laughs> and anyway, he was just telling her, I think, that they were all right because when they used to go down there fishing, they used to go off and uh, go out in the Atlantic more, and quite often they would be lost for a few days in the fog or oh. something like that. But, uh, so that's one of my earliest remembrances I've got, really. I know when Father used, he would sometimes get, Leo Pengelly's income tax returns, yeah. and Leo would get his, and I don't think they ever bothered to exchange them, they just put them in a bin. They couldn't, <laughs> and there was three, El Pingelli's then in, in Lou at the same time as my father. It was Leo, and it was Leonard, who was Albert Juice's son. Yeah. Albert Juice, that was Leonard Juice's, he followed on with that name. My father's nickname was Bruss, but he hated it, he didn't like it at all. Bruss? Yeah, Bruss. What was that from then? I don't know where that come from, but he didn't like it. My nickname was Bino. How the hell I got the nickname Bino, B I double N O L. And I tell you, he still calls me when I'm out in the boat now, at my boat, he'll call me up, and that's Bonzo. Hi, Bino, where you are? <laughs> and he's the only one. I've heard some of the other Lou men say, mm. Who the hell's Bino? <laughs> Bonzo say, We ought to know that. It's like Winnow, isn't it? That's right, yeah, Winnow. Well, Winnow was Peggy Pingelli's. Uh, family, that side of it. And Swindle was her father. Yeah. I ain't gonna say why he got that name, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it meant the same then, is what, you know. But they all had their nicknames, as you say. Oh, well, they all Billy Fireout. Yeah. Billy Fireout, he used to live out here at Anaphore. <laughs> I wonder where he got that name from. Do you know how he got that name? No, I don't know.